guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, today it's a very stormy, uh, dark, gloomy day. It is, let's see, almost noon and it looks like it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> so, I have my ring lights on and poor little Maggie, she is in the bedroom um, because she's scared. Okay, so today I have a DIY for you. What we're going to be doing is upcycling this Tostitos container, and I'm going to turn it into a really cute farmhouse project. And then I'm going to take this little container I bought at Michael's quite a while ago, and it has $12 on it. I bought it several years ago. I'm pretty sure that I got this on a deep clearance. So we're going to be doing that. So you're going to need some Waverly chalk paint in the plaster, and I've pretty sure I'm going to try this Apple Barrel Pewter Gray paint. And then I just went to Walmart and got me one of these little fondant uh, rollers. And I'm going to be using that with my clay. Now, I'm going to be using the Daz clay. And you know, I think I've had a change of heart with this clay. Um, I said I didn't like it, but then I started using the IOD clay some more. And one day they were performing exactly the same. So uh, I'm going to probably use quite a bit of this, I'm thinking. So I'm going to use the Daz, but if you don't want to get the IOD, you can definitely get the Daz. And I'm going to put it back in my Amazon store because like I said, it was performing pretty much the same as the IOD. It's just a dark kind of, it's like a gray color, all right? Then I'm going to be using, I'm pretty sure, this uh, Finnabar Wax in silver, old silver, okay? And then uh, I'm going to try this Dollar Tree cutter right here to cut out some of my designs. Now, this is what I'm so excited about. I picked up the crockery stamps from IOD. Love these. Been wanting these for so long and they're back in again. So that's what we're going to be using and turning these in to look like old crocs. So let me get everything turned down and we'll get started with this really cute farmhouse DIY. Okay, I also am going to get this little clay pot that I picked up at Lowe's. I have small ones from the Dollar Tree. I can't find them. There's going to have to be a clean my craft room with me because everything's a mess, okay? So I've picked out the ones that I want, but you just get all kinds of them right here. Marmalade and Dijon and potted meats, all kinds of little cute things. All right, so I'm going to take my Daz clay and I'm going to do this a little bit different. Kind of like I did the other day, but still a little bit different. I want it to look like it's peeling off, okay? So I'm gonna tear some of this off. You can really do a lot with this clay. And I think for this one, I think I'm going to put it on Maybe this right here. So we're gonna upcycle the Tostitos one first. Okay, so just kind of want to work your clay, smash it down, and then I'm gonna take this little rolling pin and roll it out. And let's see. I'm going to take this one right here and I'm just going to press it right down in this. I'm not using my cornstarch or anything like that. Just going to press that down in. And then I'm going to lift up. Then I'm going to take 
this that I got from the Dollar Tree. Put this little cutting mat under it. And I just want this to look kind of um, old. You could probably tear it if you wanted. Might give you a better effect. Um, I just want it, I think I took it too straight across the top. Okay, I've got my tight bond glue and I really wish that I had kept maybe that top not so um, perfect. Put out some glue. We're going to paint this after we apply it. You could paint it before but I'm going to do this one. should have got my little rollers, but I didn't. Okay, we're just going to push this right in around our edges. Try not to bother the sign. I think that's going to be so cute. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in plaster. And I'm going to pour some out. I think I need to add water to that. I'm just going to get, I think, this brush and just dip it down in here. I think that's what I'll just do. Okay. And then we are going to start just painting this while it's on here with this chalk paint. And I probably should thin this paint out. And I think I will because I don't want it to lose its, um, I don't want to lose the words on my sign. Maybe I can go over it nice and easy. I tell you, I'm thinking about starting to wear aprons because I have ruined so many shirts and it's crazy. I think I'm going to look on Amazon and try to find some cute little aprons that I wouldn't mind to get stuff all over because this is crazy. But you can see how this is already turning out. I love this technique. And by this um, Daz Clay having a little bit of grayness to it, I think it's really looking pretty. But look at that, it just looks like an old kind of like churn. You can paint the bottoms if you want. I don't think I'm going to paint the bottom just for time purposes. You might want to do it. Can you imagine the Christmas presents you could do? Oh my gosh. I think that is turning out adorable, okay? I'm gonna put that down and I'm just going to go over this lid. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in some water. Now I would recommend 
if you're doing something on glass that's kind of slippery, that you use the blue, um, the tight bond that has the blue. I'm going to have to get that. I keep forgetting when I go out. Okay, I went back and put another coat of the watered down chalk paint, and I love it. Looks so old, but like I said, make sure that you um, use the tight bond glue with the blue label because since this glass is slippery, this is trying to slide, okay? And I'm gonna lay it down here for now. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take some of this Finnabar Wax in Rusty Brown, put it out here. Normally I don't use it on my fingers, but I think I want to see what this is going to look like if you just kind of swirl it and take it lightly over this. brings that mold it makes it pop I'm gonna kind of take it around in places on the edge Look at that, that's looking so pretty. And then I'm just gonna kinda rub it on here in places. You wouldn't have to do this step if you didn't want to. But I think it gives it added dimension. Okay, so there's that, and might as well put a little bit on this rim. I think it's dry, I don't know. It's not that dry. But we'll just put some around here lightly. And that is the first one, okay? going to be using my stays on ink and I don't have any baby wipes I'm out <laughs> story of my life okay I'm going to lay this down and I'm just going to stamp this you do have to condition your stamps before you use them okay I'm gonna pick this up Okay, commit, don't shift, and then just touch everywhere. Hold down with one hand. And just go over it with the other one. You want to make sure you get all those edges. And here is this one, okay? Okay, now I have my fusion paint out and I'm going to paint this with the fusion paint. And I'm not gonna use my brush that I really like because I don't wanna pour this out and I'm trying to avoid doing that. So I think I'll just use this. And I'm just going to put this right on here. give it a rough coat or a really good coat. Just down in here a little bit. 
so if I put a plant or something like that, it won't look like it's not, you know, this color. Okay, I've painted it. This dries pretty quickly, and it's, I gave pretty good coverage. Every once in a while, I left, you know, places that aren't perfect. Now I'm going to take this Stays On ink in the brown, timber brown, I believe it is. And I'm just going to put this on there. I don't want it real heavy. And if, it, if I miss some spots, that's okay with me because I want it to look old. And look at that, how pretty that is. I love that. Okay, let's take a look at well, it. Well, here they are. Um, I'll start off with this one, and it's sunny now. <laughs> look at this. I love that. It just looks like an old crock that has worn away. And you definitely could put more of this clay in patches around it. I think it would really look authentic that way. But just look at that. How cute is that? Okay. And then here is this one. I think this one turned out really cute. I just stuck some of this stuff in here. This is from Dollar Tree. But I just kind of wanted to make it look a little different. But I think that turned out really cute. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So, I will see you Wednesday for my Hobby Lobby haul. A lot of you have guessed some of the things I've purchased, but some of you didn't get a sneak peek at all. So you'll kind of be surprised at some of the other things I did purchase. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby, and I found her in my craft room in her tent that I bought off of Amazon. <laughs> she says, when it's thundering, that's where I want to go, I think. Is that true? So, until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>